Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I think we are duped into paying for something and the return would be in our disadvantage. And we will be hooked to paying big, big loans that are made in our names for that. So uh, let me tell you a little bit how I think uh, the narrative goes. The script goes like this. There's a country called Russia, and there's another country, I'm speaking like Kamala Harris right now, and there's a country, a smaller country, called Ukraine. Now, Russia being bad, and with bad dude over there, and a lot of bad dudes, they uh, attacked Ukraine um, because they're bad, and Ukraine is good. They attacked uh, unprovoked to get their land, their property. Now, we, we are the good, and we intervened, and we support the good, obviously, the Ukrainians against the bad Russians. Now, for that, we, because we're good, we have to help. We have, because if we don't help, the next move, Russia will, after they beat the good ones, the Ukrainians, if we don't help, they would come and take our stuff. Therefore, sooner or later, they will take your stuff. In order for us to prevent that from happening, we have to help Ukraine. So Ukraine will beat the bad dudes. So the bad dudes will not come and get our things from our, uh, you know, our territory, our children, our wives, our lives, everything. Okay, that's how the story goes. So we have to, we have to uh, get get the food from our kids, send it over there, get the loans, get them aid, because otherwise the Russians will um, come here. And thank God for the Ukrainians who who decided to sacrifice for all of us, because if they we don't help them and they all die sacrificing. Uh, then, the, then the Russians will take everything. So, so that's how the narrative goes, and that's the way we're supposed to talk to one another. And everything to the side, you are, are called names, or who knows what else. You know what I mean? So, but doing that, we agree. We agree to give aid, money, uh, military aid, and all this from our families, our children, and that would increase our taxes because we have to pay it back somehow. Our governments in the meantime, when they take our stuff and give it over there, right, uh, will have to borrow money so they can subsidize the energy prices, which increased because we have to help Ukrainians so the Russians cannot come here. So they sacrifice with blood, we can sacrifice with less, uh, with less uh, food, less energy, more money for energy and so on. You got it? That's the deal. That's how the story goes. Because we know, because we're told by our leaders, that the Russians will come and get us if they did such a bad thing to Ukraine. All right, so what happens? Well, I'm going to tell you exactly how much money you, your children, your grandchildren, and future generations will have to pay for the money your government and mine borrowed in your and my name to give us, instead of paying for, I don't know, kilowatt, uh, $50 a minute, we're going to pay $3 a minute. And the rest of, uh, let's say, uh, $47 are borrowed money from bankers with interest that we will pay eventually. And our children will pay. And our great-great-children will pay for all these subsidies that we have from the bankers. Do you know why? because the Russians are sacrificing uh, for us, so we can give them money and all that. Got that point? All right, now, let's go with the articles here. This article comes from, obviously, the bad dudes here, and it's from uh, February 13, 2023. West European energy subsidies approaching $1 trillion. Think tank. Okay, so it's not Russia, I guess. The cost of protecting households and businesses from soaring prices. I wonder why the soaring prices is it because of the inflation and the help and all that keeps growing. Analysts at Bruegel or Brugel say, all right, European nations have splashed out nearly 800 billion euros, which is about 855 billion dollars on support measures as the region con continues to reel from climbing energy costs, researchers at Brussels-based think tank Brugel said on Monday. So your countries and my country borrowed money so they can subsidize us so we don't, you know, file bankruptcy and we get, uh, you know, we sell our houses and anything we have because of the good job they're doing economically. The analysts have urged governments to be more 
targeted in their spending aimed at subsidizing bills for households and businesses in the face of wild swings in prices for gas and electricity over the past year. I wonder why electricity and gas. Is it because of the sanctions? Is it because of the uh, embargo? Is it because of the uh, price cap? Nah. So what they say, go and borrow money because you can't figure things out. And they hope Russia will collapse so they can go and get the uh, gas and uh, oil for free. EU member states have, uh, not for free, but uh, you know, it's going to be a frenzy over there, uh, a feast. EU member states have so far allocated 681 billion euros to energy spending since September 2021, according to researchers at Brugel. Meanwhile, the UK and Norway have reportedly earmarked the equivalent of 103 billion euros and 8.1 billion euros, respectively. The total of 792 billion mar euro marks a nearly 86 billion euro euros increase in spending since Brogel's last assessment released in November. The think tank attributes the boost to the region's continued need to turn to more expensive supplies through winter uh, after most EU states opted to stop importing gas from Russia. Germany reportedly topped the spending chart. Remember Germany, I have another article and I will uh, contrast it with that. Germany reportedly topped the spending chart, allocating some 270 billion euros, while the UK, Italy and France, the next highest, each spent almost 150 billion euro. Okay, so Germany allocated, so that means borrowed, 270 billion euros and they gave Ukra uh, Ukraine in aid. This article comes from uh, Fox News from today, right here. Yesterday, I'm sorry, February 12th. Let's see how much Germany gave. Germany gives what countries has pledged to Ukraine and the total military and humanitarian aid promised by governments to Ukraine through November 20, excluding loans. So, Germany, 171, right there, 171 billion dollars. Germany, United Kingdom, 28.19 billion dollars. I made an, a, a video on this. So this is how much these countries and United States gave almost 200 billions. The United States continues to lead the world in contributions to Ukraine with nearly 200 billion in promised or sent aid as U.S. ally continues its fight. And I say, according to Ukrainian government, the U.S. lead all countries with this amount. The next one is Germany. Germany has sent the most, the, the second most funds with 172 billion sent in that span, which is 10 months from January 24, 2022 to November 20th, 2022, 10 months. 172 billions you gave to Ukraine and then you borrowed 270 billion. Excellent, so that would be 270, right? Add that to 170, right? Correct? I would say so. So that's what, 540 billion. Good job, it's gonna cost your citizens, Deutsche Volk. Good job, go and work. Go and work, don't watch this, go and work. While the UK and all that. UK the same, One, almost 150 UK. Good job UK, Italy and France. So this is what's going on. Uh, um, but hey, uh, we are all happy that we can uh, support them so they can fight the war so they can come and get more than uh, the amount we are gonna give them over there. But something tells me in my twisted mind or my gut feelings somewhere, it tells me that uh, we are kind of the biggest losers, we and the Ukrainian people, nation, not Zelensky and all those guys, and the Russians. And, and there are some institutions and people who make record profits. I made a video yesterday on an article telling us how much the energy big oil companies made on this, on this little thing. Record record high profits, not earnings, like the whole thing. No, no, no. Profits. I think Shell was about, what, 50 some billion dollars in profits in a year. Uh, go and watch that, that because I, I, I did the same thing, put all the data over there, the article. Now you tell me, but I'm pretty sure they were just lucky. I mean, it was an opportunity and they took it. 
It just dropped on their lap. You tell me when was the last time you had such an opportunity just dropped on your lap to make a few billion dollars without doing really anything. You just, you know, go to work and all of a sudden the company uh, strikes gold and gives you $5 billion from its revenues. You tell me that. You know. Then you, uh, that's one. That's one. That's the uh, energy department. Energy, uh, how do you call it? Uh, uh, institutions, the companies, the whatever. That's one. The sector. Energy sector. The other one is military industrial complex. Made a lot of money from the new... Uh, contracts that make with, make with weasels that yes do that they're gonna come and attack us and then it's the banking system who all these three make a kill and the politicians are still in power helping us protecting us from Putin and all those bad guys and at the same time where well, they're gonna receive big campaign doc, uh, contributions which is legal from whom uh, from people now remember there's a lot of people among us who fall for the scenario that we are supposed to, yes, that's exactly like that. Why? Because people are cowards. We have a lot of people among us, they are very, very scared. They're, they're very scared. You know why? Because they don't, have, they don't know much. And if you don't know much, you're afraid of your own shadow. You don't know that's your shadow. That's why animals are afraid of their shadows, because they don't realize it's a shadow. The same with these guys. If they haven't been around the block a few times in their lives, and all their lives were uh, house, work, back, TV, they don't know anything about the world, and they read um, nothing, or they read, uh, how do you call that, uh, fiction, fiction books, or semi-porn books, you know those ones, like uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. I'm aware, I'm aware of that, because you always like, uh, I like to know uh, from all sides, if possible or as many sides, so I can compare and contrast and learn and understand. So these guys are going to be the ones that if they tell them tomorrow, if these guys are telling this, the population, you know what, tomorrow my, the Russians might uh, be landing uh, on our coast, these guys will be the first ones go to the store and empty the, the shelves of toilet paper and everything else. And I'm going to go in a different direction, I'm going to go in and buy bullets, okay? I'm not going to go and buy toilet paper. You know why? Because I'm going to show up then to these guys that buy toilet paper and I'm going to ask them for toilet paper. And they will give me. Because I got uh, not toilet paper, but I have something else and they have toilet paper. That's the, if, if we are about to get to that point, that's the way it's going to go. I mean, you watched many movies and that's, that's a representation of reality. I don't have to mention what's his name, uh, Tom Cruise with his whatever up movie that one with the kid or with his kids running around and all that the aliens are around I can't remember the movie I didn't watch it I just watch excerpts and I know what's all about over there anyway so go to work go pay go consume and because if we don't help them definitely Russia will be at our door that's how the story goes because we have so much evidence that the Russians will do that why they attacked unprovoked a sovereign country unprovoked nothing there Go and buy toilet paper. Go. I'm going to buy something else. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.